Hey everybody, this is Wick Goes Carnivore. Uh, today I wanted to talk to you a little bit more about my journey, specifically in the last couple weeks. First though, I'd like to say that it's been about almost 11 months, or I guess right around 11 months now, and in that time period, I have lost over 60 pounds doing the carnivore diet. Well, I probably have been about 90, 95% carnivore and doing a little cheating here and there with eating some rice or whatever type of carb. Um, I drink a lot of sparkling, like sparkling ice drinks, flavored drinks that had um, some sucralose in them in that. So obviously that's not good. That's sugar, fake sugar, whatever. Um, but more recently, I've changed that up. So over the last couple of weeks, I decided to get really strict with my diet. So I've been just eating meat, salt to season, and water. Drinking just regular water, not sparkling water or anything like that. So in 14 days, I have lost 9 pounds and I've lost an inch on my waist as well in 14 days. And I... I want to talk a little more about exactly how that's worked for me. Before I go any further, though, I do want to tell you to go ahead and like this video and share it on social media, share it with your friends and so forth. And also, if you're not already subscribed, then subscribe to my channel. You know, I, I post pretty much every day around 10 a.m. You'll get a new video and then there's other times in the day on certain days that you'll probably see more videos as well. So go ahead and subscribe if you're not already subscribed. All right. So going back now, looking at the first 10, 11 months or so on carnivore, um, I was mostly eating two meals a day. And again, it, it worked well. I lost quite a bit of weight. I lost over 60 pounds. I know some other people have lost more than that. They probably cut more sugar and stuff out than I did because there was a little carb here and there. And, you know, I already talked about the sparkling ices and stuff like that. Um, then I decided to go 14 days ago, um, actually 15 days now, but it was 14 days. You might as well say I decided to go strict and I'm just eating meat, uh, seasoning it with Redmond's Real Salt, and then drinking just plain water. And I would say it was about a week in, about a week into doing that, that I kind of switched from eating two meals a day to one, going OMAD. And the main reason for that was that my hunger cravings that I was still having probably because of things like the sparkling ice and so forth, but they went away. So I'm now at the point here for a little over a week. I'm eating once a day. And for the most part, I have been eating ribeyes. Um, I could eat other things. And there's been a few times I have, I've had some ground beef, I've had eggs, that kind of stuff. Um, but most of the time I've just been eating the ribeye and it's been easy for me and uh, I'm able to do it. I, I can afford it. I know some people can't afford to eat ribeyes all the time and, you know, it's perfectly fine. Eggs, you know, you can get for like under $2 a dozen. Um, you want to go with the the uh, pastured eggs, you know, the um, the cage free and all that stuff, you can probably still get them for three or $4 a dozen. So pretty good price there. Ground beef, you know, Costco where I live has them for three ninety nine dollars a pound. Um, so you can get ground beef much cheaper. Chicken is much cheaper. You can do things like that. Uh, but I've been able to afford the ribeyes. Uh, what I recently did is I bought a um, big slab of ribeye. It was eleven eighty nine a pound. And if I eat 24 ounces in a meal, and I'm eating one meal a day, it's under $20 a day. It's like $18 or just under $18 a day for that meal. And I'm not eating anything else. I'm not drinking anything else. So I don't have to buy any, you know, flavored ice drinks or any of that kind of stuff. Bubblies. I was drinking bubblies before. I don't need to do any of that anymore. So I'm doing okay. I'm under $20 a day 
and um, meeting ribeye pretty much every day, which is kind of crazy that you can do that. You know, you certainly can't go to a restaurant and get ribeyes and and expect to uh, eat for under twenty dollars a day. So that's what I've been doing. Um, again, it's it's been about twenty to twenty four ounces per day in my steak. Um, a few times I've had more than that cooked up and I couldn't eat really more than that. I ended up, you know, saving the rest for leftovers. Uh, so that seems to be about the right amount for me and for everybody out there. It, it's different, right? It depends it, for me right now at this point in my journey, um, about 20 to 24 ounces of meat seems to be the right amount for me. I get pretty full from doing that. And it's about 24 hours before I'm hungry again to eat. Uh, you know, around the 22, 23 hour mark, I might just start feel a little bit of hunger. And it's still not like I really need to eat, but I start to feel a little bit like, oh, okay, I'm kind of getting a little bit hungry. Um, and then around 24 hours is I'm ready to eat. I, I could probably go a little bit longer if I had to. Like the one day, I think it was 25 or 26 hours in between eating. But for the most part, it's been about 24 hours for me. The other thing is that I've been more active. Uh, I've been trying to walk maybe not quite every day, but most days get about a 30 minute walk in. Um, and about three to four times a week, I've been doing some strength training and usually probably mix in a little bit of time on an exercise bike at the end of the strength training or something like that, uh, where I'll do some hit uh which is high intensity interval training. Um, something I picked up from Sean Baker in a video that he had, he did a video where he went for like five seconds at a time as hard and fast as he could go. And then he relaxed for 25 seconds. And then he went back to the, you know, really hard and fast again and just do that over and over again. Right. And I've been doing that. Um, for the 25 seconds that I'm relaxing, I'm still pedaling. I'm just going at a much lower, calmer rate on the bike. And then I get going hard again for five seconds. And then I, you know, go calmer again for 25 seconds. And I've been doing about five minutes, six minutes or so of that. And it's a really good hard workout. And then I do a couple minutes of uh, cool down on the bike, you know, just going at a good normal speed to cool down. Uh, so I've been doing that as well as the eating, um, with just eating one meal a day, the pretty much about 20 to 24 ounces. So no more than like a pound and a half a day. And then the other thing that I wanted to mention about the, the eating habits that I've had, um, it, it was about a week or so that I realized that I didn't have the cravings anymore. And I just, I knew that when I was hungry, I really was hungry and needed to eat. Um, so the other thing that you kind of think of is, okay, well, how do I know that I have eaten enough and that I'm full, right? One of the biggest things with this that I found is I'm starting to kind of feel like maybe I'm full, but I'm not really sure. But then I'm like, you know what? The steak just doesn't taste as good as it did before. Um, like when I first started eating you know, it, it tasted really good. I was like, you know, it'd been 24 hours and I was ready to eat. Uh, but now, you know, it's like I'm 10 minutes in here of eating. I've eaten about 24 ounces and it's like, yeah, it doesn't taste as good as it did. It's starting to get a little plain, a little bland to me. Well, that's how you know that you're at the point that you're feeling pretty full and you could stop eating. Um, so that's kind of the things that I've been using to make sure that I don't overeat. I have heard that it's very hard to overeat and I kind of agree with that, but you know, those are the kinds of things just the, yeah, I kind of feel full, but also the steak doesn't taste as good right now. It's starting to taste more plain to me. That's when you know, you're kind of full. You can stop at that point. And the way it's been working for me here, at least since I've been very strict with no carbs at all has been that it's about 24 hours later before I'm ready to eat again. So I just wanted to share that all with you a little bit, how it's been working for me here the last couple of weeks. And um, thank you for watching and
you know, I post videos every day around 10 a.m. And then certain days I'll get other videos out as well. But the one that I can tell you for sure is you can always count on there being a video at 10 a.m. Eastern time every day. Thanks, everyone.